coding and robotics education in school scheme abbreviated as cares we call it as cares it's a cares project sorry yeah so i always like to define the objectives of my session presentation or whatever it is right oh. so i only this three things okay the agenda of my session comprises of three things one i will briefly very briefly introduce you to what is this care scheme i am fully aware that you know project director has already you know talked to you in a elaborated form about this okay but just to set the tone i would want to uh, introduce you to this scheme second one is i also want to talk about the provisions of the care scheme so that you know where you fit in okay or you can explore the possibilities of knowing where you can find a place for yourself apart from being teach for goa fellows and the third thing okay which probably uh, most of you are waiting for which is like you know roles and responsibilities what you are expected to be doing by going there on the battlefield right introduction introduction to the scheme now by now we know that our focus is on computational thinking okay and to be very precise it talks about problem solving computational thinking comprises of various aspects which i have already spoken to you okay now why computational thinking there is a reason now when nep 2020 was you know announced if you refer to chapter 9 there is a clear indication that additional emphasis has to be laid on mathematical skills and computational th uh, thinking skill especially in middle level school children now what is middle level school children class 6 7th and 8 so as far as this scheme is concerned we are mandated with the implementation of this scheme to class 6 7th and 8th right now okay so in order to you know have our students uh that mechanism to acquire this computational thinking skills or problem solving skills government of goa in the year 2021 that is last year came up with fantastic idea okay and as a result of which we got this coding and robotics education and school scheme with us i am not going to get into details of what are the objectives of it however i just want to make one statement here about the vision of the scheme that's very important personally to me it's very very important and the vision says you know we want to develop this computational and design thinking skills when they are learning programming okay i'm when i'm saying when they are learning so who are they class 6 7th and 8th we are you know very specific about it class 6 7th and 8th students so this is our vision so we have to align our uh, teaching or any activities that we would want to carry out to this vision so there we have this empowered committee okay one of the most important committees for us who helps us in you know taking decisions so which has been chaired by honorable education minister of the state of goa we have uh, uh, the chairman of nep that is national education policy who is also the member of it vice chairman rather we have secretary education who is the member of the committee then we have director education we have director of technical education we have director of scrt then we have chairman goa board principal of gec and then industry representatives now if you see here there are three different departments which have come together director of education technical education and scrt you know why now it's a collaborative effort we speak so much about collaboration right so it's a collaborative effort now why schools under whose juris jurisdiction they are education scrt state council for educational research and training so who is going to give the training 
why technical education it was thought that you know technical education has that expertise of you know uh, coming up with this curriculum and related activities so that is the reason this is the only scheme wherein three departments have come together though there is a challenge it's a wonderful experience to you know you get a chance to interact with different departments and you get to learn the different flavors when you know actually you are interacting with them so then we have pmu which is project management unit that's we that's we that's we yes that's we right we are pmu right project management unit and we are mandated with the implementation of this scheme on day to day basis it's our responsibility so when i am going to talk about roles and responsibilities what we are also ensuring that we are performing the responsibilities of pmu so this is empowered committee so which helps us or you know guides us in taking various kinds of decision as far as implementation of this scheme is concerned we also have another uh, committee which is called as executive committee wherein you have this members like you know our uh, director director of technical education is the chairperson we have education director scrt director and you know these are the members so what is the role of this committee is to have a coordination between different departments and directorates okay now you need to be knowing about these things like you know what is the structure that we have so right at the top we have empowered committee then we have executive committee then we have ourselves okay and then we go to the students second thing that i want to speak about very briefly like you know a, is like you know what are the provisions of this scheme what does this scheme offer to us or offer to the beneficiaries it is divided into three different parts one you have to develop infrastructure you have to develop software now when i say infrastructure it means the development of lab and so as to develop a lab what you require hardware tables and related stuff right so one of the things that has been undertaken by us is to upgrade the existing computer lab you know how it all started how this curriculum came into existence ict curriculum now we had this computer subject we learned this in schools right we learned this in school or we just had that subject yeah so we had paint and you know things like that right uh so then you know after a long thought you know it was decided to revamp this curriculum to revamp this curriculum so as to you know have something something you know beneficial to all of us and then they said okay let's align our thinking to nep and let's come up with this curriculum and that's how this ict curriculum came into existence and then that is where we wanted to uh have that lab and that upgradation of lab you know followed subsequently
So we have, again, you know, under project management we made, we have these three things, teach for Goa Fellows. That is the role which will be played by you all, one of the roles which will be played by you all. We have something called a teach for Goa Volunteers. Okay, so it will be a kind of a stipend program. Some students who are undergoing graduation would be you know, providing some sort of assistance to those students. So it's a kind of a stipend. And then we have teach for Goa mentors, wherein we are going to call, or actually we are calling industry people or industry experts. Okay, and then they are helping us. Third thing, facilitation and promotion. We have a product, we have everything. We need to market it, right? But we want to exhibit it. How do I do it? Organize some competitions, organize some academics. And I can proudly say that, you know, our students, our very own students who have undergone class 6 regular curriculum, they have participated in so many competitions, not only national, international. And just few days back, we had a boot camp for the students, two days boot camp. Why was it? To help them prepare for whatever international competition we had in 2022. Right? This is exactly what we do. Now, so if I talk about this scheme, one of the primary focus is on the curriculum and the syllabus. So our curriculum is divided into two parts. One is regular curriculum and second one is elective curriculum. So what is the regular curriculum? That is the curriculum or that is the syllabus which every student has to undergo. So it is there for class 6, class 7, class 8. And what about elective curriculum? So what is elective curriculum? Those students who are interested in taking forward, you know, the things that they have learned in class 6 or class 7 or class 8, they would enroll themselves for this elective curriculum. So it's an advancement over what they have learned and they want to explore more. So just imagine what responsibility do we have with us? Out of interest they are coming. Right? So when they are coming out of interest, so definitely we have to make it more interesting so that, you know, they stick to us. So now I talked about different types of curriculums, advanced, elective. Well, who is going to deliver it and how is it going to be delivered? So I will first talk about how. So what you see right in front of you, those computing devices, they are full-fledged devices? Are they full-fledged devices? No? Do they not function like any other computer system? Or is there any problem? Is there any problem? Modun bhi padlo modi. Chollo. All the programs it could run, I mean it could execute. So they are good. Looks good, right? They will survive? They will survive? Sorry? I think you have tested enough for five days, right? Those artificial intelligence cores, I mean cores and all. They are good, I believe. Right? That is the power of, you know, computing devices. Okay? So what exactly we have done in school? Now this is the kind of setup we would have in a school. Can you see here? Now there is this school from Vasco. Can you see this? So this is the setup. You can see here down, Marmogao. All the systems are in place over there. Now they are just waiting for to be used. Right? So on the other side, you would see, like you know, how exactly it looks like. If you turn around your monitor, you would, oh, okay. So in some places there on the table itself, right? But if you turn around, this is how it is going to be, you know, looking. So it's a very simple thing. You have a monitor, you have a compact computing device, you have a mouse, you have a keyboard, okay, and there would be a Wi-Fi based router. Can anyone tell me why Wi-Fi based router? In a lab, there would be around 10 systems in the initial phase, and then there would be a Wi-Fi based router. Okay. 
ओके हाँ सो बिकॉज यू रिक्वायर देम दैट वाई यू हैव इट सॉरी नो वायर्स इज दैट द रीजन ओके सो वी आर एनकरेजिंग दैम टू गेट देयर ओन लैपटॉप बैकअप प्लैन बैकअप प्लैन राइट नो या या मैडम इट्स इजी आ The whole idea, you know, is sorry, sorry. The whole idea, the whole idea, is about collaboration. So we are not leaving any stone unturned to say that collaboration is very, very important. They are making hardware asu, software asu, or you know. Uh, you know when you interact with them personally we are only talking about collaboration and this is one such thing that will help us uh, to emphasize on the use of that collaboration okay or the importance of collaboration yeah so as far as content delivery is concerned who is going to deliver regular curriculum not you so relax uh, this is what i am not going to do right somebody else will do so who is doing, who is doing it are existing teachers okay now these existing teachers have been undergoing a very rigorous process since last one year and they are still doing it we are having something called as hand holding sessions which are happening every thursday thursday so every thursday we are having those sessions and what is the whole idea if i want to deliver a session the next thursday i meet with my all other teachers i learn what is to be done i go to the school i deliver a content i learn from the experiences come back the next thursday i share my experiences i revise myself i go back simple model so what we did was like you know we had this concept of core master trainers okay so we when we actually started with this you know so we have core master trainers with us who are there with this scheme right from its inception teacher sonal is one of them teacher sanya is i believe she is she's out right yeah teacher maya is also one of them you know so they were the core master trainer now why four and there was uh, teacher manjusha teacher manjusha so four why four how many talukas you got the answer okay then under four master trainers we had master trainers why 12 taluka guys we had coordinator teachers they were about you know 51 okay coordinator teachers and then we had this you know a teacher ratio 1 is to 7 now why was this model required simply we could have called you know those many number of teachers at one place conduct five day session and over doesn't sound to be effective right actually we tried this one of the first programs we tried this but in order to make it more effective and efficient we thought of this model and this is what we came up with another enhancement to this was that hand holding session ha huh. now this is content delivery by for elective curriculum now that's where you come into picture right a very simple you know the model we have we have a resource person now resource person could be from industry from the pmu or you could also be one of the resource subsequently and you train others all of us you would be deployed at lead school there is a concept of lead school now what is a lead school is any school is any school through which advanced curriculum will be implemented and the students who are interested in taking up this particular curriculum will come to the lead schools so we have about 6000 plus students across the state of goa who have shown interest in taking up this curriculum i'll just put some you know statistic into perspective how many schools do we have 435 plus government and government aided schools we have 
which are the direct beneficiaries of this scheme. So we have around 6,000 plus students who are studying in class 6, 7th and 8th. Uh, sorry, 6, uh, total 60,000 because 20, 20 and 20, not 6, my mistake. So total 60,000 students who are taking up this curriculum. And then we have 500 and plus existing computer teachers. So they are 500 and you all are 40 plus, no, 50, whatever. Now, I'll come to academic content. So as I've said, we have six classes to address, class six, seventh, and eight. Every class, we have elective curriculum, we have regular curriculum. So total, how many books we require? Six books, right? Answer is very simple, six books, right? So we have to uh, put in equal amount of efforts in designing this curriculum. Now, I'll show you something Okay, which you have not seen as of now, probably. And probably that was one of the reasons you could not connect to like, you know, when many of the sessions were happening. I'll show you the sample handbook. Sample handbook, okay. So this is how it looks like. Okay, it's a handbook. Now this book will not be there with the students. This book in the soft form will be with you all. Now this is for class 6. It's a sample book. 6 regular curriculum. Okay. We are yet to unveil that class 6 elective curriculum book. That is yet to be done. Can you see this? I need to zoom in. Let's say week one, that's our lesson plan one. Some title would be there. And we have this super six, sir has already spoken about, right? Actually sir spoke about it. Super six, these are the six characters. So they take this story forward. So there is a story over here, okay, I'm not going going into details of it, but this six characters over here, they get into some, you know, a dialogue and that's how this story is built. Now on the basis of this story, can you see this episode one? Okay. So it's a, it's a dialogue. So this I'll share with you all. Or you can also find it on the uh, portal, it's there, it's there, this is there. Huh. So one story is done, what we talk about is, what is the objective, what is the learning objective? What is expected? Can you see this? Learning objective, so that there is a clarity in the minds of the learner, that what I am expected to do. Then you also have access to the video resources. They can refer to this video. These, all these things are available. It's already there on our YouTube channel. QR code is also there. Just scan it and then it will direct you to that particular resource. That's not important over here. Yes. Then we talk about design. Can you see this? We talk about design for 20 minutes. Now this is the probable time that you can take. Okay, now based upon the needs of the students, you will have to revise it. Then we have task. What is the task that they have to carry out? We are not done with that. Now when these things are being done, what you need to observe? It's all documented. You need to observe certain things. Can you see that observations to be done by the teachers? Then what comes is evaluation. Simply observing will not help them. Now you have to evaluate them on certain parameters. For example, understanding execution and so on and so forth.
and in the end it's rubrics okay now this is how the assessment will take place fine so you got a glimpse of what that handbook looks like so now you understood what you are expected to do with that handbook yes so all the guidelines are there okay so let me close this yes okay so having seen this the next thing the next thing is what are the benefits of this elective curriculum for the students can we answer this together what do you think what are the benefits kiran i would request you to please make a note of what they are saying so i can include it in my next presentation if i get an opportunity to do so upgrading skills very quick ah huh? very quick okay upgrading skills problem solving logical thinking computational thinking okay very good technical terms i'm impressed yes sidan exploration okay exploration but why do we want to offer them this benefits to create interest and done i'm just saying yes samit okay to make them adaptable to the digital world ultimately why i will ask you a very simple question you enroll for a particular course why placement okay just certification ha huh? no no just ask this question to yourself when i enrolled for course when i wanted to do engineering or in you know, msc or nc why did i opt for it simple question just because i wanted to have that you know name plate pasted you know outside my door this is where this person below i mean stays okay interest okay identify the problem job job prospect and madam interest in new technologies okay okay to better the future the future prospects probably okay okay it's good like you know i'm happy that we all are interacting now good yes yes shruti okay to know whether the okay to make them employable okay just a random thought ah huh? random thought what are the benefits of elective curriculum it's hands on it's practical it helps me to solve problem right i want them not i i i want them to be not just programmer i want them to be youtuber i want them to be roboticist i want them to be graphic designer some of the things right yes or no will it not help them definitely definitely it will help them thank you teacher yes now this is what you've been waiting for right many a times you've been asking me this question kitle lead school asa khon was pache okay kitle boys asa i don't know i seriously don't know so this is the framework the delivery framework okay so if you can see i'm putting it taluka wise right at the top you could see schools schools 
now there are multiple lead schools in each taluka i think this is self explanatory so you know number of students from each school would be coming to a particular lead school can you see here let's let's take ls1 okay so from this taluka one this two school student would come to lead school one so similarly you have multiple schools over there that is why n right and so and so forth and where do you fit in down okay so i was very cautious when i did this so can you see this yeah yeah i i didn't want to get into bias that's why i put both male and female <laughs> so <laughs> this guy over here okay tfg1 goes to some school in lead school taluka 1 and can also go to some school that is ls1 in that taluka like taluka 2 right next scenario ha ah, there is this tfg2 who goes to no 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 it's not only one it's a just pictorial representation it's a pictorial representation please <laughs> otherwise you will quote me and then so on so forth so you got an idea as to how it is going to work so we all are prepared you all are prepared yes. to cross the borders yes. i'm not asking you to cross the borders of state goa <laughs> taluka <laughs> we are very much in goa please don't worry yes thank you then we have this concept of the cluster of lead school okay now what is the cluster of lead school now we will go from the bottom yeah or no no we'll go from the top only not bottom so we have teach for goa fellows that's you okay you are handling one of the lead schools let's say so let's say tfg1 is handling ls1 tfg2 is handling ls n and so on so forth right and you could also have multiple schools over there so you would have something like a random name has been given as of now okay my pd has to approve this sir is there is gone there okay so satellite center something like satellite center okay so what will happen you know all of you from this different lead schools will go to that satellite center you will collaborate you will exchange ideas okay you will share your experiences okay and i'll tell you how those experiences will reach us just wait for some time so this also clear yeah i'm bit methodical so that's why i'm putting it this way yeah next i'm presenting to you what is the exact structure i'll explain so as a part of this delivery framework you have seen broadly like you know how it is how how that structure is so we have 12 different talukas so we have total 435 schools i'm not now i'm not saying 435 plus okay so 435 schools in pair name we have around 38 schools yeah so there are six lead schools in pair name taluka lead schools that means you would be catering to the students of 38 schools from pernem taluka through this six lead schools and rest of the things you can interpret for yourself right yes so like you know you take uh, randomly anything like this wadi you have 44 schools hence you have seven schools okay now this lead schools okay how they are identified the schools voluntarily they said i want to be a lead school because i want students of my school as well as students around to be benefited so that is how this lead school are identified but they have nominated rather and on the basis of their nomination they have been identified so this is the list of lead schools this is also available on our web portal you can just go through okay so there are about 63 lead schools that was the previous version that we had so this is the revised version as of now as of now okay so that's the reason i i i made this statement we i mean in the month of april i still remember 4th of april to 10th of april if i remember correctly we went to all 12 different talukas 
we had meetings with you know the heads of the institutes and their management and we requested them will you will you provide your support to us for launching this advanced curriculum will you provide your lab so that you know we can have a lead school over here some of them voluntarily agreed some of them had their own challenges okay so that number is derived from there whoever had capability they said we are doing it whoever said we don't have capability but if you help us we will do it we help them out so that's how this number is coming ha huh. yeah that is voluntarily done that is voluntarily done okay however no need to worry because uh, it's not about number of lead schools how many sessions are offered in each lead school i will come to that i have time yeah so this is the list of lead schools so i'll just quickly go through this this is already available yeah 60 32 48 63 yeah now what is the delivery schedule so as you know this advanced curriculum would be delivered in the afternoon session that is you know post school hours so we would be having two sessions i name it as s1 and s2 s1 would start at 2 o'clock would end at 4 and the next batch would be coming at 4:30 to 6:30 so we have this concept of two batches on a given day okay so in a batch in a batch there could be this number of students ranging from 20 to 30 all right now why 20 to 30 because we have around you know 10 systems been delivered to the lead school and this systems are to be used on twin sharing basis so mostly it will be 20 in very exceptional case we may have 25 or you know close to 30 but necessary you know arrangements are done so in those lead schools we would have sufficient number of system so that's not an issue all right so down here you would see we are working from monday to saturday we have two sessions on each day so how many sessions we would have 12 sessions So when I say twelve sessions, how many students we are catering to? Considering twenty, twenty in a batch, two forty, two forty, right? Good number. In one lead school, two forty in one school. How many lead schools we have? Two forty in two. Okay. Now this is the sample timetable for. A teach for Goa fellow. A sample. No names are there, huh? So let's say TFG one. What may happen? There is this school, Saraswat Vidyalaya Mapsa. It's in Taluka Barde. So on Monday, this TFG goes to this school and conducts session one as well as session two. Similarly, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, he he or she conducts all these sessions, right? how many sessions are conducted each session what is the duration how many of how many hours load hmm. okay tentative huh? tentative you can go beyond that it depends okay don't quote me otherwise then na 16 sangilo ata 17 go solo 17 jao so na that i will take care of and my sir will take care of it will be only multiples of 2 okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah 18 20 anyways two so this is the thing understood so this is what you are going to get ha huh. this is very important for me right is this important for you now what are my responsibilities what are my responsibilities right so i will talk about it in some parts what is the most important responsibility of me delivery of the curriculum i have to deliver 
this curriculum i will share this i'll share this okay we collaborate right we believe in sharing so yeah so first part is delivery so again under delivery there are three things that i have to take care of one conduct the lesson plan and how many lesson plans you would conduct in a week one one now why one a student would be coming to a lead school in a week only once batch one andar tarelo to monday to parat ante week ane uchana next week ane etlo to next monday etlo understood there is this one student who comes to lead school for session 1 on monday ta jo ek lesson plan jalo ta shiklo to so next time when is he coming next monday so suppose there is another student who comes to uh, session 2 on thursday tane kanne ucho padlo ha i'll address all those things i'll address all those things okay yeah so the conduct of lesson plans as i had made you to you know uh, quickly glance through that sample handbook <laughs> so uh yeah so this is the arrangement of our lesson plans again it's self explanatory you have this episode it's a story it's a story you know what are your learning objective learning objectives of the learner huh? so you have to accordingly prepare yourself then you have the design now tell me where is the code in this entire lesson plan show me where is the code code asa code asa kide asa what is there ha huh? see this we are giving blocks ओके प्लेइंग कार्ड्स तुम पैला नहीं कि करपा शकता तत्व प्लेइंग कार्ड्स व्हाट कैन यू डू विथ दैट आई कैन प्ले राइट मेक अ हाउस मेक अ ब्रिज राइट आनी शकता मैजिक ट्रिक्स करपा शकता सो मेनी थिंग्स कैन बी डन राइट सो इफ यू शो देम दिस ब्लॉक कैन दे नॉट हैव डिफरंट वेज ऑफ अराइविंग टू द आंसर द सेम आंसर right so it's not about code is it about code now do you really want to know what is that code do you expect us to give you a code now now just don't say that because you know i am saying it jai kharot code jai tara dita you want the code sir maka isa tu mascha bahar gela sangtali jai manun tumhi mascha bahar gela sangtali jai manun <laughs> no no I'm, 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 yeah no you don't need the code i know that you are very much convinced now that you don't require this code you don't require this code right because now you know how to proceed yes great and then if you could see like you know uh, for each of the activity how much of time is required is also mentioned now don't say uh, 50 minute manche 50 minute ghew jay right manche 51 minutes first thing there is no code guidelines these are guidelines ha huh. you welcome them you encourage them no we are not nala start kasha kartale they will spend lot of time they will spend lot of time in finding out are kon cho block use karu gai at least here they know these are the blocks that i can use these are very basic blocks that they have to use for this code okay hajanantar dar tane block kida use kele that will be optimization that also we have taken care of you understand right when we write any program na initially we start with and we would have say 100 lines ka program then what what is the next thing that we do we try to optimize it time complexity we unaikla right ami yes i'm not asking you to you know have that time complexity thing yeah yeah please
not necessary. There is an idea behind, okay, uh, talking about forever and not using forever. There is something called a recursion. So maybe you will have to explore more about it and then, you know, those things will be more clearer to you. Okay. Okay. Can I move forward? I'm just parking this question. I will take, you know, offline discussions we can have, have about this. So there I spoke about responsibilities. Now here I'm talking about your role. One of the roles, one of the roles is you are an observer. You have to do certain observations when they are performing the task. It's very clear, it's well documented. You have to only do this observations. Record them. Record them and use well. And now here, here you are playing another role of Evaluator. Evaluation kashe? Ah, ya problem mark, shumbar marks. Taka pannas diya. Chadis diya. Do we do that? We don't do that. We have a structure for it. What is the structure? Discovery, understanding of and problem solving. Team player aslo kai na. You know, on those lines we, we grade them. You understand? Can I move forward then? Now this is more of you know administrative side of it. So you need to maintain something called the teacher's logbook that will be given to you all. Okay, subsequently this will be given to you all. And this is how it looks like. So there would be this column, a date, the date on which you are going to conduct a session. Standard remains same. Yeah, class six advanced curriculum. Period, session one, session two, subject. Elective curriculum. Actually, you know, some of the columns are not applicable. This is for the, the, the teachers. Okay. Then the objectives. What I can do over here? Hey, the objectives are copy career and paste career. Right? Yes or no? The handbook is not objective, learning objective. The copy career is not an objective. Right? You can choose to do that, but you can also choose not to do that. Choice is yours. Then the topic and content analysis, the title, okay. Teaching aids to be taken. Kita vartale. Okay. Chalk, duster, beha sagale ni. Traditional way of looking at it. Chalk and talk and, you know. Yes, some props, you know, as sir was discussing. So all those things you can always use, okay. There is no limitation. Okay, we are not restricting you from using anything. Then, teacher learner activity. Uh, this is applicable teacher, teacher Sonal. Teacher learner activity. Ah, ah, okay, additional unplugged activities. Yeah, so you can always, always perform some unplugged activities. Yes, so any, any un unplugged activities, you know, they can do. Then, homework assignment a task that you would want to give, specify it, then you have to sign over there and you, you need to get it countersigned by head of the school. Okay, so that will be told to you. Okay, that could happen on weekly basis, monthly basis. Then the, again, responsibilities of Teach for Go Fellows is you have to maintain the student attendance. How do you do it? You will be given attendance sheet, record it in the physical form and also you have to log into the prerna. Okay, so it would be more of geotag attendance. That is the idea of sir. <laughs> geotag attendance. Okay. So technology, right? You need to use that. Similarly, you need to maintain your own attendance. Again, how you do it? By having it in the physical form and as well as through prerna. Okay, so you'll be educated about this. Huh. Another thing. If, if there are some matters or issues which are really bothering you, what do you do? What do you do? Kaya karap na? Higher authority? Kona higher authority? Huh? Kona? Who is there above you? 
Huh? We have a definite hierarchy for that. Okay, which will be in detail. It will be communicated to you. But I am just presenting this to you. Whatever you know, issues, matters are there. Okay, you need to communicate it to the PMU through single point of contact for North Goa. Whoever is there in North Goa would you know, pass it through that single point of contact for North Goa. And same holds true for South Goa. And then this single point of contact would pass it on to the next level or PMU. Okay, example. I'll give you some example of the issues. Like you know, take this to Levan Gela, and you find that you know, system is still now. What do you do? Immediately report. Immediately report to the PMU. So necessary actions will be taken. Ha. Yeh ki zale jay disa vata tay sa tukha kore. Previous day when you had gone there, and the system ki zare problem zallo. What do you do? Next day on Sangtolo. Sangtolo. Na apn ten na sade so zali ni. Sangtoli. Six thirty. That support staff is waiting for you to close the lab. What do you do? Whom? Please understand. These are your systems. Okay. Though we have kept it over there, these are our systems. So we are responsible for them. So whatever may be the issue, whatever may be the matter with the system, please report immediately. Necessary action will be taken. Next, what if there is a low attendance of the students? Would you report? Why do you have to report? Why do you have to report? Sorry, we need to investigate, right? Why? Why is the low attendance? Okay. Maybe there would be some sort of challenges encountered at lead school, okay, that you may experience later. So we need to be informed about that. Okay. Yes. So very quickly, I'll go through this now. Some of the responsibilities again. One, you should reach the lead school that is allotted to you at least 30 minutes prior to the commencement of your first session. Okay. That you have to ensure. Two, you are responsible for ensuring the discipline in the ICT laboratory as well as the school premise. Uh, as I've said, this belongs to us, so we have to take care of these systems. Also, you ensure that you know these systems are used on as far as possible on twin sharing basis, so you know they also understand the true meaning of collaboration. An exchange of ideas. That is a play session. Did I clear? Support staff. So, don't do that. No, please don't do that. Switch off. Switch off those computing devices at the end of your last session. Okay, now the play session don't go to church. Okay, so ensure that you know you again you know switch off. The lights, the fans, okay, whatever you can switch off, close the windows, all those things. Please ensure. I want to say ensure. You get it done from support staff, but ensure that this is done. Then uh, that kid over there, the student over there, is my student, right? I'm done with my session. That doesn't mean that you know I walk out of the class. Let that student go, right? Let that student go first, and then I will go. And once that is done, okay, with the help of the support staff, I will ask him to close the lab. Okay. Then you have to maintain this logbook, teacher's logbook, what I talked about, the pink one. You have to ensure that your attendance is, you know, countersigned by head of the school, weekly basis, on weekly basis. You have to submit your attendance report so that you know. Further things can be taken up related to your salaries and all those things. So you have to submit it uh, on timely basis. Public holidays. <laughs> okay. So you need to ensure to ensure that you know if there are any discretionary.
हॉलिडेज विच वूड बी गिवन बाय सम स्कूल्स ते आपले स्कूल जात्रा बित्र असते कडे देता ओके ऍटलिस्ट एक महिन्याच्या पहिले यू हॅव टू इन्फॉर्म सो वेन इट्स पब्लिक हॉलिडेज वी आर ऑल्सो इन्फॉर्म राईट सो नेसेसरी ऍक्शन विल बी टेकन सो नेसेसरी अरेंजमेंट्स विल बी डन ओके अँड एनी अदर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज यू कॅनॉट से नाही ह्या माझ्यान जाऊचे ना करपा आता दिस इज नॉट माईन सो इट्स एनी अदर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी जस्ट रिड इट फॉर युअर सेल्फ आय एम अ मोटिवेटर फॅसिलिटेटर टीम प्लेयर कॉलॅबरेटर ओ ग्रेट यू आर सो आय एम मोटिवेटर येस आय एम अ मोटिवेटर आय एम अ फॅसिलिटेटर आय एम अ टीम प्लेयर आय एम अ कॉलॅबरेटर राईट वी आर आय एम ॲक्च्युली सो टू अंडरस्टँड बेटर अंडरस्टँड वॉट वी आर वी हॅव ample of opportunities for you all there is this research section which sir is planning to have there is this pedagogical center again sir you know brain child would uh, turn into reality very soon okay so you can perform all these roles okay to be part of that not just to be part of that but otherwise also and i put those dot dot dots i could not think of any other words you know that you can fill in then okay and we seriously mean that you are because i am i am yes that will be done by us we will prepare a schedule right in advance about public holidays and all but what i am talking about is this yeah yeah everything that we are considering and accordingly we are having this schedule however when it comes we will interact with them yeah so you don't have to really bother about that what i am talking about is discretionary discretion means that last minute means last minute shani ek mahina pehle tancha plan jata ki jatra asli ki ani kasle event aslo they declare a public holiday right ओके ओके आय एम आय एम डन ऑलमोस्ट डन सो या विथ ग्रेट पॉवर कम आय डन नो विथ ग्रेट पॉवर कम्स ग्रेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ग्रेटर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी राईट स्पायडरमॅन राईट दिस डायलॉग इज फ्रॉम स्पायडरमॅन आय डेंट वॉन्ट टू कॉपी दॅट आय पूट डॉट 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 यू कम्प्लीट इट ओके दॅन यू वुड क्वेश्चन मी त्याला क्रेडिट्स दिले काय म्हणून आय डेंट कम्प्लीट इट ओके या सो विथ ग्रेट पॉवर कम्स ग्रेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी अकॉर्डिंग टू मी आय जस्ट सम अप एव्हरीथिंग ओके अकॉर्डिंग टू मी वॉट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इट्स युअर एबिलिटी टू रिस्पॉन्ड इट्स युअर एबिलिटी टू सॉरी टू रिस्पॉन्ड इन एनी काइंड ऑफ सिच्युएशन बी इट गुड और बी इट अनकम्फर्टेबल सिच्युएशन राईट so you are ready for it ready for what sorry undertake the responsibilities which are listed here and in this list there is one responsibility any other work <laughs> okay so i am i am almost done i i want to thank thank you all okay uh, for being part of this uh, training program okay and for being part of this pmu uh, so just give me last one minute okay and i also want to thank the entire pmu team i wouldn't want to name each one of you okay for you know having this training program conducted and i also want to thank uh, for giving this platform for all of us okay either to be uh, be in this role or the role what has been played by you all Yeah thank you so much